What's going on? Kevin here from Underdog Fitness. Everyone's heard of the beep test. It's a running test where you start on a line, there's a beep, you run to the next line, you wait on the beep, and you go back and forth, and progressively the time to run gets shorter and shorter, so eventually you tap out. If you want to see this in action, check out the Spartan Games Season 2. I forget which episode, but it's on there. I put together this bike beep test, inspired by the running one. If there's no beep, it's kind of up to you. The goal here is to see how long you can hold different RPM levels on the assault bike or echo bike as you prepare and train for DECA. Pick a low number to start. So for some of you, that low RPM target might be 45, might be 50. I chose to start at 60, but it's up to you. If you start too high, you're gonna blow up too early. You want the first round or two to be kind of a warm up. So you're gonna start pedaling. You're gonna get your RPMs on the screen up to your RPM target. Once you achieve that, you're gonna hold it there. Within five beats, higher or below, you're gonna stay there. If there's a point where you can't hold it anymore and it dips more than five below your target, you're done, stop your watch and notate your score. You're gonna rest then and then repeat at a higher level. So it's important to have a timer. As a watch, you can use a clock on the wall or whatnot. Don't rely on the bike for your rest interval because the time on the clock on the bike will probably stop before your time rest is up. Reset your bike to zero. You're gonna pedal at that RPMs until you can't, or you hit three minutes. After you hit three minutes, you beat that level. It's like a video game, you move on. Then you're gonna take rest for two or three minutes. It's up to you. On the early levels, for me, round one, I took a two minute rest because my heart rate has already recovered really quickly. Round two, I took a two minute rest. After that, I started to feel more fatigued, so I upped it to three minute rest. I'll leave the rest interval up to you. Obviously, if you take more rest, you're gonna recover faster and you might be able to hold on more in the next level. The way this test works, you're gonna ride at your interval, so 60, hit three minutes, rest for two minutes or three minutes. Then you're gonna start at 65, hold that as long as you can, rest. 70, rest, 75, rest, 80, rest. And you keep adding five RPMs every single round until you can't hit that target. So let's say you get up to 100, your goal is 100. You pedal your heart out, five, 10, 15 seconds, you're at 90, 95, 96, 84. You didn't hit 100, so your, your test is over. You didn't complete the 100 round, then that's the end of the test. So this test could take you 30, 40, 50 minutes. It's gonna hurt a lot. Be prepared to lay on the floor when you're done. But the goal here is to get data so that way you can go back and retest later. You can also use this data for your DECA strong and mile race pace. So after you look at this, you can see how long you can hold each interval and then you kind of deduct what would be optimal for your race. If you can hit 100, that's great, but during the race, you're gonna be exhausted you're not gonna be able to hold 100 very long. So you kind of play around with that. Just the act of doing this test is gonna build your confidence at different RPM levels, and that's gonna increase your ability to ride the bike, and it's gonna decrease your deck attack. Take this test. I'd love to see uh, you post all your times uh, on a post. Tag us, Underdog Fitness. Tag me, Bubbles the Clown. I wanna see your numbers. I'm trying to compile uh, numbers from many athletes so I can kind of see what looks good, I know some athletes kill on the bike and other athletes, most athletes, get killed by the bike. So I'd be interested to see, regardless of how good you are right now, what your numbers are like, and then after a few months of training or after you take the test a few times, what numbers you can hit. Like, share, tag this post, and let's get more people doing the, the bike beat test. Can't wait to see your results, and good luck at DECA. See you in Atlantic City.